hi guys and welcome to today's video disclaimer if you see a bunch of lines on my face i just got back from a massage appointment i tried to wait until the lines were gone but i don't think they are so anyways if you wonder what those lines are it was because i was living my best life getting a massage on a side note and also like the main note i'm going to be doing a legging battle i have a bunch of brands i have zaya i have lulu i have gymshark i got airy i got them all so anyways oh and I'm going to grab my Nike ones as well. And I'm going to let you know how I truly feel. These are some that I just bought, some that I've had for a while. And I'm going to let you know the goods, the bads, and whether they're worth your money. So if you're interested and you're equally obsessed with leggings as myself, then stay tuned. So the first pair of leggings I have are the Airy leggings. They are adorable. I actually put them on in another video that I originally had several months ago. And I just was so happy with the compression and obviously the design was really cute. And I just fell in love with them and they stayed up really well. Uh, they were squat proof and they still are. Um, I just wouldn't wear anything super bright underneath. Uh, but overall I was pretty happy with them. I just find that the last set like several months have just really decreased in the performance. They fall down, the waistband stretches. So I'm just not a fan of the fact that the quality didn't stay throughout the whole time I owned them. So they're going in the donation pile. The next pair I have are these Nikes, which my goodness, I will say right off the bat, they are so overpriced for what they are. They don't stay up. They are not compressive at all. They're just like a lounge pant, which I feel like if they're past my hip, like below it, they sit weird, but if they're too high, and by this fuzzy screen, you can tell they are not squat proof. Like they are by far the worst leggings I've ever had as far as like squat proof goes. Um, so I'm just unhappy with them. You see me jumping and as I jump, they just fall down. So they're just not gym appropriate. And overall, I just feel like they are super overpriced and the quality is just not there. So honestly, probably like the worst pair of leggings I have and like Nike really let me down on these ones. So highly don't recommend. <laughs> and the next pair are these Lululemon Wonder Unders. And I've had a lot of Wonder Unders to be completely honest. I really liked them. They were compressive. They would always stay up during my workouts and I was really happy with them. But for some reason, uh, the last couple pairs that I had bought in, they always slide down. Like they roll every time I do a squat or any like deadlifts and things like that. And for someone who's like training really hard all the time, I do not want to be like fixing my leggings all the time. So I actually went to the extent of calling customer service because I'm like, what is going on with these leggings? They are normally good and they are just letting me down. Um, as far as squat proof goes, they're honestly pretty good. Um, especially with the white stripes, it kind of surprised me. But I'm just not a fan of the fact that I am constantly tugging at these leggings the entire workout. And I cannot run in these like that. I absolutely love these leggings. I always call them Colorful Luca. I actually don't know how to say it. But like since I saw the brand name, I'm like, ooh, it's Colorful Luca. But I love camo and I love black. So these are like the bomb for the design. And they started out super compressive. But again, as time went on, they just lost their like elasticity. And I don't understand why because I just like hand wash them. I don't dry them. So like they should stay. They were a more inexpensive kind. So like that was like obviously exciting buying them. But again, you spend so much money on inexpensive leggings that they become expensive because you're always replacing them. So they are always falling down. So I do have to like touch them all the time. So not a perfect legging. <laughs> and these ones are wild. I actually got them as a Christmas present from Carissa. So shout out to her if you're watching this. They're like the best but the worst. The waistband, it has like a sticky part on there as you can see. And you'd think it would stay up, but it's almost like a really weird feeling. Like you feel like it's pulling at your skin and it just doesn't want to stay up, but it's trying its hardest too. And I'm just always playing with it. So I decided these are just not gym leggings because the camel toe is real. It is like the most wild and they are not squat proof whatsoever. Um, I learned that very quickly. So... Don't recommend having those just out and about. Uh, but I do actually use these for sleeping in because they are so comfortable. So obviously it's very sad that they weren't staying up and that they are really see-through. But if you were just looking for like a lounge pant and you could wear like a longer shirt with them, they're honestly really, really cute and comfortable. 
And I saved the best for last, which are the Zaya leggings. If you follow me on my social media platforms, you know that I have became a rep because I was sick and tired of all these leggings disappointing me. So anyways, I love obviously the fact that they have pockets. Huge fan of that. And I can actually like run with my phone in the pockets and they never fall down. They are really squat proof. I'm very impressed because of how shiny they were. I was kind of worried about them not being very squat proof, but definitely impressed. So impressed I bought my family some for Christmas. Um, but the best part is that they do not slide down during a workout. It is amazing for training that I no longer have to touch them all the time because nothing is worse than playing with your leggings rather than focusing on your workout. So anyways, definitely recommend trying these out. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will link everything below, like the websites if I can't find the specific leggings. Of course, Zaya is my favorite because I went through all of these leggings and I never ever like fell in love with anything, hence why I became a rep for Zaya. So I'm just like so happy with her products overall and I'm just happy with the fact that it's the only pair of leggings that never fall down. So quick fact, the one time all my leggings were in the wash and I had to wear like all my Zaya ones were and I had to wear like normal ones, I think they were like Nikes or something. I was so annoyed because I wore my running shoes, I was ready to run, but I couldn't run because they just kept falling down. And then Kyle looked at me, he's like, you look so annoyed. I'm like, if I was in my Zaya's, stuff like this wouldn't happen. You know? It had a little bit more swearing in it, but it was like, it was ish. Ish my sentence, you know, if that makes sense. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing night. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, do all the fun stuff, and I'll see you in my next video.